content room. So we went to watch the sunset again tonight over in that same area over by Ball Rock, which is right there. And there were terrible bugs. They're called no CMs because you literally cannot see them and they bite you like mosquitoes bite you. So we had that problem and my camera battery died. So oh, yeah. we weren't able to get any footage or anything of the really pretty sunset that we had tonight. guys, I just got back from town to go to the doctor to like see about my hand and he said it's healing really well. So that's super exciting and he's like really impressed with how much I can move my hand uh, for being so stiff, you know, for the last month or so. And while I was in town, I decided to do a few other things. So about a month ago, I went into the local bookstore to see if they would carry my book, Morning Motivations, there. And I gave him a copy, and I was like, let me know what you think, and if you <laughs> are interested. And I didn't hear anything from them, so I was like, thinking that they weren't into it, they didn't want the book, it wasn't good enough. So I decided to go there today. The store is called The Literate Lizard. <laughs> And it's a really cool local bookstore, you know, owned by some locals in Sedona. And as I'm walking up to the counter to ask if they would carry my book, I saw it on the shelf. It was like, it was right there with the nature section. And I was like, oh my god, that's so precious. Like, they actually wanted to carry it. And he's even interested in carrying my other book, uh, A Year Against the Rain. So that was good news number one. Today's just been a really good day overall. Overall, I had to clean um, the vacation home that I manage, and they only used one bed. It only took me an hour to clean it, so that was amazing. And then while I was cleaning, I got a buzz in my pocket, and I'm like, what's that? I click on it, and I had a sale on Etsy, and I haven't had a sale in months. So I, I went to look to see what it was, because I just relisted some books on there. I sold a print. I sold one of my um, Sedona prints. It was of a heart-shaped cactus over by airport um, Mesa. So I sold, I sold a print, a digital print, and I didn't know if I was going to be able to do that, being it, you know, it was photography. I don't have a printing studio. I can't print them myself. And since I don't know if I, where I'm going to be going, I don't want to buy equipment to do that. Um, I guess I'm just kind of waiting to see where I'm, whatever. That's besides the point, but I sold a print, a digital print. So it like makes me really happy um, because I spent so much time doing that in March, I think it was. I just, every single day I would just go online, I'd post on Etsy and Redbubble and hope to God that someone would, you know, buy a print. And what do you know? I sold one today, <laughs> so I'm so excited. Love you. Love you, Sparky. Love you.
guys we're at the skate park right now usually when we come to the skate park I'll just chill in the car for a little bit but um, I think I'm gonna go and film Austin pretty soon it's been so hot today all I want to do is sleep that's the only downside to Arizona is it gets so freaking hot here that you don't do anything during the day you kind of just lays around but then when it's nighttime you go outside and the stars are just something else. This summer has been really hot for me. I've never lived in the desert before and this time of day is my favorite time of day because it cools off so much. It's probably still 70, no, it's probably around 80 degrees despite the sweatshirt. It's my favorite time of day because you can still hear all the cicadas and they're all like, sounds like they're bickering with each other. Everything is so still. There's always a slight breeze going going on and the sunsets are just so pretty. Look at behind me. You could see Bell Rock in the middle, Castle Rock and Courthouse Butte. Yeah, so I don't know if it's the heat or or what. Um today I'm just feeling pretty melancholy. I, I have so much to be grateful for and I really am and I feel I feel that in those moments then there's just something else it's like grief or I don't know it's just like hanging around me I'm not sure if it's mine or not but I guess I just wanted to share that and it's okay to have those types of feelings and to not know why. The first thing to, or like I have this little, this little methodology, this little exercise that I like to do when I catch myself feeling something that maybe not, that's maybe not, you know, on the more uplifting side of the emotion scale. So it is called realize accept reflect and let go and I made this up when I was in Canada it kind of just came to me basically you you realize that you have this emotion you you're like oh man I'm really feeling melancholy or I'm really feeling this grief or I'm really feeling happy right now so you realize and then you accept it instead of judging yourself for being sad or for having this emotion just say I accept this feeling for right now because it's not forever so you accept it and you reflect so if there's like if you could come up with a reason why you have this and you reflect and you like see the it's this step is mainly to find the lesson in it or to find the message so you do reflect and then you let go so there's lots of ways to let go you can exercise you could just scream to the universe I let this go you can meditate, you could go out in your garden, you could stick your hands in the dirt and say, hey, I'm letting this go into the dirt, grow a nice big tree out of it. I don't know, whatever you want. But I found that doing this really is helpful for 
these emotions that maybe are different and hard to deal with. So anyway, I'm just sitting here on the roof, enjoying the sunset, enjoying the few moments of the day where it's not piping hot, and I will see you guys later. What do you got to say about sitting in the street? Feels really good because today it's like 110 outside. Hey guys, what's up? So, this week has been pretty busy. We've been working on our trip plans. This is the first time that we've traveled to another country uh, not through work exchange, so it's kind of interesting trying to do that because we have to, we're renting a car and we're uh, using couch surfing for accommodations, so We've been searching for hosts, you know, anyone that would want to host us. Uh, and we're finding it a little bit challenging. Because <laughs> it's kind of, oh, when you travel like that, it's a little bit different. Uh, because I guess that culture is just a little bit different. The traveling and exchanging system, I suppose. Because everyone's on their own schedule. And usually people have to be there to host you. You can't just like put a key or like a push buttons to open up a door or something like a lot of Airbnbs are. Um, so when we're staying in the cities, we're going to try to do that. And when we're staying in the countryside, we are going to look for Airbnbs to stay at like uh, glamping excursions. And it's like low budget mostly because I like to travel low budget but it's also different experiences alternative experiences that are fun to have so yeah the one that we're looking at is like a glorified cabin though the inside or a glorified shed you know nice wood paneled walls and a nice bed and then besides that we went to the creek one day and it was really nice to just sit in the water the water is freezing, but the air is like 110 degrees, even in the forest. So it feels super good to just put half your body in the creek to just sit there. It feels like you're getting cleansed when you sit in a river. And then the garden's been doing good. I'm going to make a garden update video pretty soon so you can see for sure. And I also wanted to make a video about, um, about gardening in this state anyway gardening in Arizona because I feel like a lot of people have challenges and maybe they just don't know maybe they don't know what to do or like how to make their gardening situation better or like what to expect really and this is my first year gardening in Arizona so like I'm learning as I go too 
but there's some things that I've noticed that I think would help some people so I want to do a video about that every day I see like so many cicadas I think I mentioned this in the last update or like the last vlog video was how many cicadas I see on a daily basis like a dozen at least and it's not just hearing them it's like physically seeing them it's just gentle little creatures you can hold them in your hand and you know when they fly away it might shock you because they're just so loud and um I find them everywhere and I find their shells everywhere and I feel like it's significant it's like a si significant sign for could be for earth it could be for me it could be for anyone really I find a lot of them right next to their shell or you know cicadas they um they shed their larvae shell and then they become a cicada with wings and their wings are really fairy like they're so pretty and you can find there's different colored ones here like there's orange i found pure white ones um they're really they're just really cool so my point was i often find them next to their shell like they just shed it and they're just chilling out and waiting to fly away so to me i feel like that means we're sh we're shedding our shells of who we used to be of things that are no longer serving us or like an identity that used to be us but we don't want to um, identify with that anymore because we want to be re reborn in a way and though cicadas they're not like reborn they just change state it's like a metamorphosis so they change their state and then they're in this body that allows them to make music you know they can make music <laughs> so they can express themselves better so I find the cicada just like reborn or just changed over and it's getting ready to share its inner self it's like expression it's um, message with the world <laughs> I suppose if you want to say that so yeah if there's any message from cicada or if you see one maybe that's what it's telling you but I feel like that's what it's telling me that I, I just changed over and I'm about to start a new or a new chapter of my life like a new part of me just got released and now it's going to be able to express itself easier than ever before so that's my cicada interpretation. Oh, Austin and I started looking for land too. It's been a lot of research. We've been doing a lot of researching um, lately because of our trip coming up and we're thinking about this land and we're thinking about going to a van life gathering in August, but I'm not 100% sure yet. Like I want to go. <laughs> The van life gathering is in Taos, which brings us back to where we first started that lifestyle. So, oh, it's so funny, it's so funny. We'll see what happens. And I mean, if you've read my book, A Year Against the Rain, then you know what happened to me in Taos. I'm gonna save you the time now, I'm not tell you. Oh, if you're interested in reading the first few chapters of my book, I give them away for free if you want to join my email list so if you are interested in that go down into my description and find my email and send me an email and I'll sign you up for email list and I'll give you that first chapter for free about Taos <laughs> so yeah we're it's just been like really busy life has been really busy but that's kind of how summer is anyway you are fully expressing yourself you're fully like manifesting whatever it is that you want and a lot has happened for me just in this last year or so and I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep going I'm gonna keep going because there's nothing else I can do to keep going I'm currently at the park right now and there's a lot of people here I get a little bit self conscious um, when vlogging in public. I don't like people seeing me talk to a camera. I think it's just, I'm a little, I'm pretty self conscious of being around people. 
or strangers, I suppose. It's more like strangers. I have a hard time with strangers in public. I don't know, I guess it's concerning to me, like, what they, what do they think of me, like, but I think a lot of people feel like that. It's a challenging. I've gotten a lot better with it, but um, I could still use some work. I guess I just don't want people to come up to me and be like, what are you filming? Or come up and photobomb me or something because they see I have a camera. But maybe that would be kind of funny if someone just came up to me and they're like, what are you doing? All right, guys, so that's my week update. Hasn't been the most exciting week, but it's been a week. Maybe I'll have more to say next week, but um, it's kind of what this thing is going to turn into. Um, video vlog, I guess. And I was thinking about starting to write regularly on a blog, like once a week or once every two weeks. So if you're like into that and you like to read better than you like to watch videos and maybe you'd like to read what I have to write because I can write a lot clearer than I can talk to a camera. So if you're interested in that, let me know in the comments below and I'll get to work on that. I have a website, but I'm, I've am i been working on it for a while because I'm trying to really decide what it is I want to share and how I want to express that. Um, it's been, I mean, you constantly change and you can change your ideas often. So, I mean, I thought that I wanted to create gardens for people but I think it's just a little bit too much for me right now so I want to focus more on my writing and my books and right now my website has not has nothing to do with that so I think that's that's on my mind too I don't know, just let me know what you think anyway if you haven't already like this video and subscribe to my channel to see these weekly vlogs and the other videos that I plan to make and if you want you can click on the little bell next to subscribe so you can see when I post new videos and let me know in the comments below how was your week what did you learn this week and did you have any universal signs or epiphanies that you want to talk about let me know Anyway, I love you guys so much, and I will see you next week. Bye!